Since this video is running long already, which is something I tend to do when I ramble, here once again are the lunch pails that came in the mail uh, in my one of my previous videos. They are precious. I love them with all my heart, and I still have the plastic cover that will go on them. But here we go. These are just, uh, like I said, trinkets. A bunch of GE merchandise here. Um, a logo necklace. And be careful when you guys purchase any uh, GE, not GE merchandise, but metals in general. Uh, this is the logo necklace. Let me see. Hold on here a sec. Sorry. Here's the bling bling logo here. And I think this is what they call tarting, tarring. But it's starting to like rust. And like it leaves a really sticky sensation on your hands. Like it's turning gold or brown or something like that. Like originally it was silver. But uh, it's starting to lose its gloss, which is kind of disappointing. I, I think I'm going to actually grab like a uh, plastic baggie or something to put this in just in case it doesn't rub off on anything else but uh, yeah be careful on what you guys buy your metals you definitely might want to change the chain if that's the case on this uh, let me see I got some buttons here these aren't GE officially licensed I think these are uh, toy I think but uh, I had a bag with this same moon image on it, and it was from Korea. So I don't know if this is Korean merchandise or not, but uh, the buttons here, some of these stuff I'm actually taking out and will be placing on the bookshelf. Not everything, though, because like I said, it'll be clumpered, cluttered, clumpered. Uh, this is the case, the strap that came with the lunch pillow, so it'll act like a little side thingy. i definitely wear it. I, in fact, I think I would buy a third one just to do that. Just take with me. You're a total fag in public. I'm just joking, you guys. I'm just joking. Mark that. This is a cigar cigarette case or business card. I used it for cigarettes. Bad habit. Don't really want to take that out. Brooch. Durable. Not cosplay size, according to some people. <laughs> um, mirror. PVC material. Sweatband number one. Sweatband number two. Uh, playing cards. Still brand new. Uh, phone charms. I mainly wanted Come In and Moon. I don't know about the rest. Uh, this is her choker, the cosplay choker. More buttons. <laughs> more buttons oh pins oh I still have to find that's so funny I thought I had the whole set I'm still missing moon and tuxedo what else? this is the cosmic necklace and just an FYI for anyone who decides to buy this this is a must um, I never realized what another YouTube user said about this. You'd actually be saving money if you bought the keychain twice and made one of them into a necklace or used, used the one for both purposes. So I went ahead and bought both, the keychain and the necklace. Um, but I mean, main factor running across here, if you get the keychain, it will last forever. I have um, the, the keychain on my keys and it lasts a really, really long time. Like paint is barely starting to chip on one of the three gems here but you can't even tell and uh, I'm not one of those who you know puts their keys in their pocket all the time mine are always wrangling mine are always out and about falling all the time on the pavement and still no big damage so if you guys decide to pick that up you guys are in for a treat uh, this is the I like to call these Swarovski crystals even though they they're most likely aren't this is still in its good condition. It hasn't tarted or anything like that. This is, I would assume this is also durable. So for whoever is interested in that. 
Guys, I was really disappointed. It's really, really small. I wasn't expecting it to be this size. I was expecting it maybe to be like the width of the package itself. Uh, the, 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 the person who sold this said that, uh, it was a desk clock. It, I got it on eBay. It was really cheap, but, um, I mean, it's whatever. It's still cute. I have a wall scroll. The wall scroll that's in the background of this. Let me see. There's a cell phone strap. Moon. The PVC keychains. This is a remake of the old, 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 um, PVC keychains that keychains that previously came out. I only have Moon and Mercury. I plan on buying the rest on GE. I know they'll be there forever, so I'm not in a big rush to do that. Uh, here's the Star Locket. Star Locket. What is this? The Moon Rod? <laughs> what is this? That. Mercury. Keychain. Mars Keychain. Jupiter keychain, Venus keychain, cell phone strap, the Luna pen keychain. I really want the Luna pen itself, you guys. The Italy release. If anyone wants to trade me for anything, I'll be happy to, depending on what you want. <laughs> oh, this is just the packaging. This is what the cosmic keychain came in. I really like this picture of Sailor Moon here. I think I actually saved this to try and draw her. I don't know why I kept the whole thing. What an idiot. Whatever. And this is... These are magnets. This, I remember that this is the very first thing I bought when the re-release came out. By the way, you guys, the new art, uh, if you remember me telling you in the past, I take it all back <laughs> now that I see it on different colors. Like on the wall scrolls and on the new, on recent items that came out. The new art is gorgeous. Mark that on your calendars that I said that because it's true. So yeah. Um, maybe it's just the pink background. I don't know. <laughs> this aside. Look at all that. Look at all that. That would look cluttered and gross on my bookshelf. I'm just joking. But no, I just don't want it all on there. It'll look like too much. <laughs> Alright, pale number two, I have an um, iPhone 4 case. This is my phone case when I had my iPhone 4 on forever. And um, durability-wise, again, no tea, no shade. I would not recommend this for anyone who's always on their phone. If you're going to keep it in your purse, in your bag, in your pocket, it's one thing. But this will start to chip easily, as you can see there. So they're not very durable. Um... These will scratch fairly easily. They're nice for show, but they're not durable whatsoever. It's kind of a disappointing matter, really. Um, the only reason why I wanted to keep my iPhone 4 instead of upgrading to a 5 was just to keep the phone cases. Uh, the ones that recently popped onto the scene are really, really cute. There's another one with another Sailor Moon so silhouette. I believe she's sitting on the moon, like uh, one of the keychains here that I had. Uh, whatever. Um, it's a silhouette, and the one with where she's with the uh, sen the inner senshi. I'm not gonna go on with that, but uh, yeah, it's kind of disappointing that they couldn't have made it a little bit more durable. It have been really excellent. Oh crap! Let me see. I put this earlier. This is another phone case. This, by all means, is a bootleg. Uh, I bought this from a seller on eBay. But uh, these, unlike the official GE phone cases, are very durable. And I say this because over here, I have another one that I bought from them. And I've been using it forever. Um, I recently just took it off because it's too glossy. And I feel that my phone's been sleeping out of my hand way too much. But these are definitely durable. They're not stick-ons, or they probably are, but they're really, really, really good stick-ons. So there's that. And there's these two. They're bootlegs, like I mentioned, but they're very durable and very usable. Um, I don't know the username at the top of my head, so I'll probably link their store onto the crotch bar if anybody's interested in purchasing them. They are, I believe, 15 a piece, so I had to think carefully on what I picked. Um, a bootleg keychain. 
the art here reminds me of uh, Warhol for some reason. But definitely bootleg. It's it's a cute metallic keychain, I guess. This one here includes Luna. And I can't really see her picture in the background. Oh, there you go. It's another Warhol piece. This is the exact same one I just showed, except this one doesn't have Luna included, and it's a different background. These are all bootlegs, which is why I managed to try and separate these these shenanigans. This is a lanyard. I believe Toei released this one. I just added this keychain on there because I put it on my personal keys and I got bored of her. <laughs> yeah, it's all pink. And it has chibi, chibi senshi everywhere. And it's really cute. Look at that face. So according to my phone, this is already a 24 minute video. I'm so sorry you guys. I didn't expect it to be that long. Uh, these are the Outer Senshi cell phone charms. If you can really see them here. But they're really, really tiny. Look at them compared to my thumb. I was expecting them to be a lot bigger. Let's see if I have my other ones in here. Um... Oh, here they are. Oh, crud, they're all in here. Fudge. Um, these are bootleg as well, but they're just too cute not to have in your collection. And, uh, yeah, it's the four outer senshi, including Chibiusa. And it's the same packaging as the other, as the previous two Sailor Moon metallic keychains I showed you guys. There's that. These, this came in a lot with them. I keep on finding lucky lots on eBay for some reason. Oh, I just pinched myself. These are the uh, official, official uh, Irwin release of the PVC keychains. Let me see. Let me see if I can open this. Oh, crush. Crud, crush, crud, crush. This is going to be such a pain to clean up, you guys. <gasps> The uh, original Irwin PVC keychains. Um, these are I've had these in my collection for years. I've worn them on my keys, but uh, luckily I took them off and cleaned them up to where they look almost new. And these are the little cell phone keychains I was talking about. I'm comparing them to the outer century, I was expecting them to be the exact same size. Maybe they're really really small compared to these. If you can really see them, there's Pluto, her glossiness. But yeah, uh, here I have more, more buttons. I get double, sometimes triple of these because I like to wear them for personal use, like on a jacket or on a backpack or something. And I'll maybe I'll always have like the second or the third for collection. So these are buttons and. Uh, the painfully, disgustingly drawn South Park <laughs> keychains. I just somebody pointed out in one of my videos that her bow is like you're on this. I'm like, well, it just makes it sound so funny. This be that this has become like a rare item online. I was actually trying to look for a replacement of this. I uh, just I actually had like a thing where I wanted to replace all of my PVC or when keychains because I wanted them to be in the original packaging. I foolishly opened them when I first took collecting seriously, and uh, and I will put them back soon. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I found this one online for about eighty bucks. I'm like, what the heck is this? Eighty bucks for one of these keychains? Like, that's kind of ridiculous. I was looking on eBay, couldn't find one. I was so upset. Blah blah blah. So I just cleaned her, and she looks brand new. So that's that. And uh, here. Replacement for Mars and some of my mom's keys. Chibiusa. And replacement for Mercury since I gave her away too. Uh, I'm currently looking for the Outer Senshi, which includes Pluto, Neptune, and Uranus. And a big headed Chibiusa, if anyone knows what I'm talking about. Anybody knows what I'm talking about. So that's that. Uh, another big key uh, button. Button. 
assortment of keychains. I have the entire inner century of the cell phone charms here. There's Mars, Jupiter, Moon, Venus. I just showed her off in a size comparison. And Mars is somewhere around here somewhere. Did I show Mars off? Yeah. Oh, uh, they're out here. Mercury. That's what I was talking about. Well, she's buried in there somewhere. Wow, this video has really become a disaster. I apologize for that. Oh, here she is. Mercury. Another notepad. And uh, for what these are worth, these are definitely going to go in my bookshelf. These are the PGSM Gashapon keychains. Uh, these are vintage pins. Uh, the PGSM magnets. I got these for surprisingly a very low cost because these go on eBay for about 50 bucks a set. Now you're all raging and jealousy if I tell you how much I paid for them. I'm just joking. So you got all these. And they're the complete sets, but as you can see, they're all just scattered in here. Here's another. This one was actually on my keys for a really long time. The website I got these from unfortunately closed. It's so disappointing because there's so much vintage on there that I wanted to buy. More pins. Pins. I think Jupiter's my favorite cash upon keyring out of the entire thing. Mars is adorable. Oh. This is a gold pen from a convention. Mercury. And I think that's it for what's in here. Oh, more land yards. I want to replace this one because it's dirty. It was for personal use, and I want a clear white one from the collection. This is still brand new. It's a black one. These are patches that I, wa I was thinking of putting on one of my jackets or sweaters, but um, I don't know. These came in a lot on eBay as well, so you guys definitely should look into that if you're interested. If you're a patch person like myself, so I own a black and white punk rock patches. Wow, you guys, this video is 31 minutes. Are you guys still watching? I am. I praise you if you are. Oh look, another keychain. She's in her super though. Is she like, is this a comics cosmic bridge? No, it's a super ass bridge. It's again same packaging. And the strap to make this like a bag. And yeah, dude. This is my entire GE merchandise keychain. That's why I call this the trinket video. I hope you enjoy. I'm not gonna talk a lot. I talk anymore. <laughs> So I'll leave you guys to it. Uh, my entire collection, minus the explanation of all of this, will come soon. So just stay tuned. It'll be up eventually. Ugh.